Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Min and today I'm going to be sharing my experience at Too Many Games, what I picked up there, and some other 3DS and DS pickups that I got within the last couple of months that I haven't shared on the channel yet. So if you don't know what Too Many Games is, it's a convention in the Philadelphia area for gaming and this is my first time going and I had such a fun time. I went with three of my friends, one of them is my cousin, and I just had such a great time. So when we first got there, we went shopping around all the booths. Um, there's a ton to do there and the place is really, really big. You get a little badge. One of the first things I got were these pins and I paid a stupid amount for them, but they're really cute. So I have Totoro, I have the cat bus playing with yarn, and I have another Totoro one. It was like a three, four, it was like a deal if you got three. And then we went up to Bean em Up's wife, Kimberly Toon. Her, she had a booth there. I really like her stuff and I collect funky earrings, so it was really perfect for me. Well, I'm wearing these gummy bear ones today that my friend, um, the gummy bear sprinkle ones that my friend Katie gave me. I picked up these ice cream bears. I think they're so funny. They're super cute. And I wanted to get something pretty quickly because her booth was poppin', I felt like a lot of stuff was already pretty picked over from the first day because I only went for one day, so I went on Saturday, which is today. So I got those earwings. I also got this keychain, but look, he's holding a little lollipop. I love it. So I got that too, and it has a little heart. And then I picked up some 3DS games and DS games for my collection. The first game I found, well actually I found some really good games there. Um, the, I was looking for Harvest Moon Grand Bazaar because it's so expensive to get online and it's really hard to find, but it would be the last game that I wanted to get for my Harvest Moon collecting. I found it out of the box for $30 and I was like, okay, that's pretty good. So I ended up getting it. Later, I found it in the box for $40, which if you look for this thing online, it's like a hundred bucks in the box. So I ended up buying the boxed one once I found it. So I got the boxed one and then I had the inbox one and I was like, oh crap, now I have two of them. But I want, obviously I just want to keep the boxed ones. I'm like, maybe I'll sell it when I get home or something. But I'm like, that, that'll be more work than I'm willing to put in. <laughs> so I decided, okay, let me try to trade in the other game cart. So I ended up trading it in, which I'll get to later. The same place that I bought that game, I also found Kirby Triple Deluxe for a good price. And this is a 3DS game. I saw it for 40 at another vendor. But as you can see here, this one was only 25. So that seemed like a steal to me. So I'm like, I'm just gonna get that one. So then, because I was stuck with just the cartridge of this one, I ended up going, looking around, seeing what I could trade it in for. I ended up trading it for, <laughs> for Tears of the Kingdom, um, originally $68, I bought it for $53, traded in the game, and so I basically paid full price for it, but kinda got my money back for that one, so I felt good about it, and I obviously didn't buy Tears of the Kingdom yet prior to this, so I'm very happy to finally have it um, and start playing it. I'm probably gonna start playing it tonight. Um, I'm like so happy, so happy. I also <laughs> have this other game which is gonna be like, why are you so excited about that game, Min? Why? Because it's signed by some awesome people. I got to see the Nintendo podcast live, so beat em ups in Wolf Den, and people asked questions, and then they did a bonus episode, and it was really fun, and they are just they are exactly who they are on the podcast as they are in person, but they're even more friendly and more outgoing and they just talk to you like they've known you forever. I don't know, I just really liked it. I just saw them like, I don't know. I had a great time at the podcast. Also, he was giving out a ton of games to everyone, Switch games. The one that I ended up with is the Untitled Goose game and they signed it. I had um, Bob signed it here and he drew me a little Mario guy. Scoot signed it here, but then Fried Biscuits rubbed it away, and then Scoot actually created this game, so he, yes, yeah. Um, and then, wait, where's Beat'em Ups? <laughs> oh my gosh, 
I have to take this sticker off. Wood is underneath. So I had them sign just on, on the thing. But so Woods is right there. Um, but yeah, I really, 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 really loved it. I had the best time meeting them um, and having them sign it. And they really spent so much time with everybody there. And it was really cool because I'm always watching their streams, their YouTube videos, <laughs> their podcasts. And yeah, it's been really special to be a part of those communities. So yeah, I, I don't know. I was really, really happy um, about it. And um, I also wore this bag the entire day. It's this Kirby bag that I had gotten from the thrift shop when my friends from Twitch came to visit me last weekend. And it worked out really well. It's super cute and yeah. Um, other than the convention, I picked up some games recently. These ones, these three I picked up in May. I have one more game I need for my 3DS collection and I'm like cutting myself off at this point. Like no more men, no more. Unless it's, no, no more, no more. Okay, so I had gotten Sunshine Islands for Harvest Moon off Mercari in May. Um, and yeah, this is one of them that I need. I know it's pretty close to Island of Happiness. I have it now for my collection. I also got this one in May on Mercari, Zelda A Link Between Worlds. And I'm excited to play this one. And I also got Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon on 3DS um, in May. And now it's gonna be on the Switch, so it's like, okay, whatever. But I'm playing it on um, 3DS, and I actually already started playing it, so that's why it's not in here. Then, when I was with my friends last weekend, we went to the gaming store, and we picked up some fun things. So the first three are just kind of joke things that I got. Cooking Mama, I've never played a Cooking Mama game. These were three for five, so Cooking Mama, I got, I wanted a Shrek game for the meme because we all love Shrek. And then it has a Madagascar game mixed with it. And I actually loved a, Mad um, a Madagascar game on my Game Boy. So I'm like, eh, I'm gonna get it for the nostalgia. And then I got Hannah Montana Music Jam. And I don't even know what this game is, but I'll try it out. And that one's all, those are all DS and they were three for $10 or $5, something really, really good. And then I got this one. I think it was like 20 bucks or something. Um, or 15 bucks or something. I forget. But I got Zelda Phantom Hourglass on DS. Um, so I have never played that one. And I thought it was a pretty good steal. Maybe I'll get the box for it later on. But I think I'm done with my <laughs> collection for now. So that's everything from the convention and my recent pickups in the last couple of months. I had a really rough month in May, but then June has been so amazing so far, and this week is when Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, the remake is coming out. So, Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life, and I am super, super excited to play it, and I cannot wait at all. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video and like videos like this, then please consider subscribing. I also stream on Twitch weekly, several times a week, and I would love to see you there in my chat. I decided I'm going to pause on the YouTube streams until I build the platform here a little bit more. I'm working on YouTube partner, so I'm almost to a thousand subs and thank you to everyone who has watched my videos, seen me progress because I know I have been making progress in my editing skills and I watched some of my old videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is not good at all. But that's how it works. That's how you start. And I appreciate everybody who watches, subscribes, and keeps coming back. So thank you very, very much. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.